Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's and I've come to look at a Ford Focus C-Max and we have looked at this a few days ago and now we've come back to fit an alternator and it's just down there. We've already disconnected the live last time when we looked at it because it's causing a massive drain on the battery. So just having a quick look at what we need to do to get it out. Looks like we're going to have to remove this section here and we have couple of bolts here and here uh, another one down here looks like we're gonna have to remove and on that side there and we can get this um, intake section out of the way and hopefully get better access to it so first just gonna disconnect the battery even though it's dead anyway and uh, there's zero voltage in that so we've got a little couple of plugs here one there and one on that side take those off now we have eight millimeter bolts let's try and get on there remove those out. let's push the um, tab out there at the back I've noticed just down there we'll have to retrieve that in a minute Seven mil here on the Jubilee clip that holds the intake pipe there. Pull it off. Put that gasket up there before it gets lost. And we should just be able to pull this out of that pipe there. So I just needed two hands for that, but there we are. One section is out. And now we have the alternator down there. So just down there we have a plug on the alternator there, we just need to get that undone just with a little pick tool. Push in the tab and pull it out. And just push that over to the side a little bit there. Now we need to remove these cables here from from the block. So we've got some little clips here just holding them on. That's one and another one just down here. Now I'm going to release the tensioner here. Uh, now annoyingly I did have a proper tool for this but can't seem to find it. I keep losing everything so a 15mm spanner will do the job. Just fit it over the top there and pull the tensioner back and then release the belt. So once I pull that back there, what I have is uh, an old drill bit piece there. I think that was a five or six mil. And you can just put that in to hold the tensioner back. Now we should be able to just slide the belt off of the alternator. Just like that. Right, so if we look down here, just in between there, we've got the bolt for the alternator there. So it looks like we're going to have to take off this whole bracket for the tensioner. Uh, not, too, not too bad, just a couple of bolts there. So we've got two there and another one here and just under there. And one more just down there, if you can see it. Got all three of these bolts out here. One, two, three. Now we can remove that. So I've got a 16 millimeter spanner and just trying to get into that bolt. There's a bolt here at the back. You just need to open that. So it's 
case of slide it on, turn it down, reattach it, put it down, reattach it, put it down. Then we've got the 16 mils on this side as well. I've already just cracked these with the ratchet. So now I'm just done doing it by hand. And we've got another one just down the bottom down here. Okay, now there's another bolt down the bottom down there. Can't really see it, uh, but it's the same again as the one at the top. And we just had to loosen that up. Quite a pain to get your arm down there, really. But once you loosen them out, we should be able to now slide the alternator to one side and disconnect it. They just slide out like that. So when you tighten the bolt down, it squashes, squeezes out the dowel, and that's what holds it in place. So we've got the alternator loose, uh, but I can't seem to pull it out uh, because there's AC pipes here, this inlet pipe, which runs all the way down there. I can't really be bothered to try and look down to take that out. So I think I'm going to just take this bracket here out of the way. There's a few bolts going around it, three or four 10 mil bolts there. So I've taken the bracket out now and we can get the alternator out there. Now I know there may be more than one way to take this out. I'm sure some people would lift the car up and remove the uh, air conditioning pump, but uh, I'd rather just do it from the top. Uh, so I've got the new alternator here and we just need to take off these bolts and put them on the new part. So you can see there how these would work is they've got a split in the middle. So once you tighten this bolt down, it then compresses that outwards. But I've uh, got the second one here now, we're just going to put that on and then we can get this alternator back in. So it's all pretty much going back in in reverse. Put those bolts back on for the clamp. And now we're just putting the bolts back in for the alternator here. I'll just get those tightened in. So I'll just put the tensioner back on. So that's it all back together there. Uh, gloves always leave you with patchy hands. They don't never seem to work. Okay, we've got our jump pack here. We're just gonna connect it up. And hopefully she should start straight up. Uh, we're on medium, so it was before we fitted that alternator, that would just drag the power down to low. Okay, let's get inside. So we've got the dashboard working at least. Start straight up. And see there is charging at a high rate, so it's full, so we know the alternator is working. And it's definitely putting charge in. So we're just going to let it idle for a couple of minutes. Get some charge back into the, both the battery and the boost pack there. And you can notice there, there is a, an eye leak. Looks like it's coming from that uh, rocket cover there or the throttle body area. That's why I had so much black around my gloves and my hands. And you can hear a slight bit of a uh, air leak from somewhere. And she looks like she's left a nice little patch on the floor there. Okay, it's been idling for five minutes or so and it's the moment of truth battery boost pack is disconnected will it start on its own uh, let's find out no so it looks like that alternator it had such a massive drain on it uh, I had quite an idea that it might have just killed the battery so it looks like he's gonna need a battery replacement as well so we'll get our new battery fitted if the customer wants one and that is it we're all finished see you in another video